It's one of the strongest addictions known to man. I really enjoy the smell of cigarettes. The flavor of the cigarettes, I like the taste. I like being able to have it in my hand. People, in spite of knowing all the ill effects, are just unable to resist cigarettes. But now more and more smokers are turning to a controversial alternative to lighting up. I smoke electronic cigarettes because I know the dangers of actual cigarettes. So I didn't really think they'd be any worse for you. I definitely think it could save lives. I see that there's a market for it and it helps people and obviously there's a little bit of money to be made, hopefully, too. Steve Spraker is co-owner of one of Chicago's only e-cigarette retail stores, located in Lincoln Park. The e-cigarette, he explains, works by delivering a heated mist of nicotine into the lungs, while the user exhales not smoke, but water vapor. Come in different flavors and different colors. Critics of the nicotine delivery device are quick to point out the youthful marketing, some say it's targeted to kids and teens. It does appeal to me uh, just because it has all the different flavors and just the fact that it's a toy, it's really cool. We don't advertise any of the, the fruity flavors. It's, it's ideal for the person that's trying to quit smoking. The biggest tragedy is if all these smokers decided to switch over to e-cigarettes thinking that they were doing something good for themselves. In a way, it's a nicotine replacement tool which is perpetuating the nicotine addiction. While the long-term side effects of this tiny device remain a mystery to the medical community, one thing all sides can agree on is that more testing needs to be done. Time will tell whether what other side effects we are going to experience. My guess is that you are going to continue to see the heart risk, the aging risk. And Dr. Karana isn't the only one eager for answers. Yeah, I'm ready for the truth because I believe that the truth is will benefit us and people that have had no other alternative than smoking tobacco cigarettes. Probably someone who's getting involved with e-cigarettes is looking to make some money. As to his individual choices of whether or not he can sleep at night, that, that's going to be up to him. Whether you're thinking about starting or trying to quit, the benefits of a nicotine-free lifestyle remain clear. It is a known fact that no matter what age you quit smoking, even if you're diagnosed with cancer, even if you've got end-stage lung disease, if you quit smoking at that point, you live longer. In Chicago, this is PJ Randawa, Good Day DePaul.